So what we're looking at right now is called Simulcam. Hello and welcome to this virtual production vlog. Today we're actually going to be doing live compositing in Unreal Engine using the camera setup behind me and we're actually going to do Simulcam. So we're taking this C300 footage through SDI and we're sending it into Unreal Engine and doing a live key. On top of that we're tracking this camera using a Vive and we are now compositing the live CG background behind it. So now the DP and the director can see the complete image, right? The real live action and the CG at the same time. And that CG in the background isn't static. If I want to relight it, change it, move something in the background, it's all live in Unreal Engine, and I'll show you that right now. So I'm in Unreal Engine, and this is the 3D scene that's in the background live, and to the left is the composite that I can see. And the exciting part now is that because you're doing this all at once, the DP can do things like this, right? I can change the lighting on the background live. So we kind of had this backlight going here. So what if I change it to something, I don't know, something like this. I think it's less good, but now you can change the onset lighting to match and you kind of commit to this right here. So I'll go back to the camera and we'll do a little shot, move around with the new, with the new lighting. Okay, so we're back at the camera. We just made our lighting changes to the background. Uh, we're still tracking the camera. And now, as the DP, I would probably change the lighting on the foreground to make it match. And this back and forth between lighting the, the background, lighting the foreground, and doing that all on set at once and seeing it, that is like the virtual production part. That's the part that's cool for DPs, for directors. I think for anyone that wants to like see what we're doing, this is the way. This is the virtual production way of doing it. I'm doing this in my house, <laughs> very consumer. Uh, it's a little technical to set up, but really anyone can do it. And I'll be showing that more and more uh, as time goes on. Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine and I can kind of show you how this is set up. It's really minimal. It's not hard at all. Uh, so this map, I just literally downloaded it off the marketplace. That's kind of the power of this whole workflow is like if you want a, a CG environment like this to work in, you just go download it and load it into Unreal Engine. It doesn't cost much money at all. Uh, so there's a couple of things that make this happen here. One is composure, right? So if you load up the composure plugin, you get this composure window and you make literally a composite and you can kind of see it going on here. Uh, the first part is this plate here, right? So this is me taking footage from the C300 using the Blackmagic plugin and the Decklink AK Pro card. And now I have footage in here and I'm keying it. And you basically just select it like it's a layer in After Effects. And the keyer is right here, right? So if I just want to change like keying settings, which uh, they're set up pretty well, so I don't want to mess with them too bad. But you know, these are keying settings like you'd be used to using uh, like key light in After Effects, like it's really easy. So there's the, there's the foreground. And then we have the CG layer, which right now it's uh, basically just another camera in Unreal Engine capturing the background, uh, but it's in the ground because my tracker is currently off. Uh, so what happens next is that uh, you composite these two together right there. And I'll, I'll link a tutorial that Andy Blondin from Epic Games did on Composure. That's all I watched. Uh, really quickly, this is all the material is to do the comp. Uh, watch his tutorial. I just want to show you mine uh, so you can see like how bare bones and simple this really is. Uh, my camera tracker, I'm sorry for this blueprint. I was in a rush. I was really excited. But uh, basically, this is what gets the uh, simulcam going, uh, the vcam. So all I'm actually doing is asking for the, am I running this? Oh, this is all still running. Oh, well. <laughs> um, I basically ask for the Vive tracker position and I, I, this is happening, but I don't use it. And all I actually do, oh God, I'm sorry, this is such a mess. But um, I basically have a reference to a cine camera and I'm just setting its relative rotation. And the difference is that I'm not setting this camera, I'm setting a to be determined camera, right? So I have a camera tracker in this scene. Where is it? Uh, camera tracker, right? And uh, all I do is I pass it another cine camera actor, and that's the one that's being used for the comp. I don't expect you to be able to follow that necessarily, but this is like a high level, that's what's going on type of thing. Uh, and basically now, I'll go turn on my Vive tracker and we'll look at it. As soon as I start tracking the camera, we basically have simulcam. To actually set this up and do all the nuances, I'd have to do a very long tutorial, I think, and maybe like, you know, make the blueprint available or something like that. I'll probably do that in the future. But this is generally the setup. Uh, and while you're shooting, like I showed you, you can change any of this stuff live. I can move this barrel here. This is the barrel that the uh, 
little llamas sitting on. And I can change the lighting. I can change the background. I can have a mocap actor back here. We can do all of it live. Uh, so I'll continue to show that workflow. Uh, let me know in the comments if you really want to see like a long and involved, like how you do every step kind of thing. Uh, but right now I'm just kind of flying and doing uh, cool stuff as fast as I can. So uh, that's the Unreal Engine part. Whew, so that is pretty awesome. I was actually kind of down on myself on the last vlog because I didn't get very far. I like just got the video in and it was like really a pain in the butt. But getting things into composure, doing the keying is really easy and doing the simulcam was re relatively easy. It's not perfect. There's a lot of things to deal with to make this as good as it can be. I was gonna say perfect, but as good as it really can be, right? So basically in 3D where you place the virtual camera uh, relative to the tracker, that's a very, very nuanced art and really high-end systems like Moses, NCAM, Stipe, etc. They have whole systems for essentially mapping lenses, which is very technical, finding the uh, optical center, I believe is what it's called. I used to call it the entrance pupil. That's more of like an optical term. Some people might call it the nodal point. Basically, when you have a camera like that, where is the virtual camera? Like, where is the actual image being taken from? It's not the sensor plane like you might think. That's close in most cases, but it's very different and it depends on when you zoom, it depends on where you're focused. So those two things combine to make a whole matrix of uh, basically positions that you have to map correctly. And then there's some other nuanced stuff with getting the tracking latency down and really matching it all together perfectly, right? So high-end systems, they do this really, really well. They're very expensive. I'm just trying to get the best results possible with like indie virtual production, which is right here. I, th I think I'm illustrating that like, you know, you do, it does cost money, right? This is not like, you know, low budget or zero budget virtual production, right? But you have, you know, essentially indie camera gear, indie green screen, indie lights, uh, indie Vive tracker, you know, just like one or two people that know Unreal Engine, and you can put this together pretty nicely. And I am super happy with the results. Right? The results. I didn't think I was gonna get Simulcam. I just, you know, I mean, I wanted it. I didn't know exactly what was gonna happen. I seen other people do it, but I'm, I'm glad that we have it. And so now that I have this base system up and running, I'm, I'm going in on this shit. I'm going like real in. So hopefully we're gonna grab a jib. I'm gonna upgrade the camera. I'm gonna get a bigger green screen. I'll probably get more lights. I can control the lights live while I'm doing stuff. There's just so much to try out and shoot. And I'm really excited. I will be vlogging uh, pretty much all of it. And then hopefully, you know, we'll see if this is possible. It's always my goal to take this type of technology and bring it to people in like a simple, consumer-friendly way. And that's what Cinetracer, the project, really is. Because at the end of the day, it's really just Unreal Engine, and I'm just packaging things for you, doing a lot of the logic, connecting a lot of the dots, you know, setting up the shaders and stuff. And so I am very confident we can get the virtual camera in Cinetracer. So anyone with a PC and a Vive, you'll be virtual cameraing, right? If we're going to be able to do live compositing and VCAM in Cinetracer, that I am not so sure. That requires the Blackmagic plugin to be set up correctly, so you need to have very specific hardware. And then on top of that, you have to have uh, the keyer set up correctly, which I could maybe expose that. Um, but I think I'm going to try. We'll see if we can package those plugins. I'm not sure if those are packageable, if that's even in the license or not. And then, you know, what it'll probably look like, there's like a fuzzy floating around. What it would probably look like if you want to try it at like a, you know, kind of consumer level and not actually open up Unreal Engine and do the whole workflow, is you would need to have my exact camera, my exact Vive setup, my exact same capture card, like literally the same exact hardware set up the same way, because I'm not sure if I can reconfigure it in a packaged game. So uh, more on that as I, as I test it out, but very likely if you want to try this, uh, in Cinetracer, this type of stuff, you need to have my exact hardware because I don't know how to support other ones yet. Uh, so we will see. Anyway, very long intro that wraps it up. I'm, I'm really excited. We have Simulcam running in my house. It's awesome. I can just go download off the marketplace any set I want. I can mocap actors into this. Like if someone's in the mocap suit, they can be in the background dancing around like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do, and it's, you know, indie virtual production. I really feel like this is indie, like, a lot of people can do this. Not everyone, it does cost money, but if you're already invested in, like, you know, lights and cameras, and all you need is the camera and the Vive tracker and, like, a Rococo suit, I mean, like, 
that's not that much more. And you just opened yourself up to like a whole virtual environment that you can shoot against in like real time. It's much more fun. I don't want to go back and post and do this. I want to do this like right here on set. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so that wraps it for this vlog. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.